All right, we're gonna test out this GFCI. It's been tripping. Make sure to turn off your power. And we have this electrical tester to see if it's hot. It's dead. Let's go ahead and do this. No light, we're good to go. Now we're just gonna open it. Nothing looks like it's been burnt. So this one looks good. Let's go for the next one. All right, so let's see. So guys, always check there's power. Be very careful. Check this out. See, this one still have power, even though we turn off the breaker. Use all the tools, double check. And we found out why this garbage disposal didn't work because whoever installed it didn't screw the screw back in to tighten the wires. So every time I try to turn it off, it wouldn't work. It trips because the cable isn't uh, tightened to give it that connection. Without the connection, it trips. We're trying to find the outlet that that starts the uh, the conjunction. I think this one is the start of the uh, power. Then it goes here, and then directly to here and here again. So if we put GFCI here, which is protected, all the rest of the outlet will get protected. This one we got on Amazon. It actually comes with the uh, plate. Nice. There's the uh, reset. All right, so always identify which one is the hot, which is the black, and then always the one with the, uh, the line, which is white. The silver bolt, you can see, that's always white. And then the gold is always hot, which is black. This is blocked because this will be the load. This will actually go to another line to continue the circuit. This is the main line, the top one, without the sticker. So this is the, the power source. The main will go up here. The load will go over here. We'll go to the other side and then that way too as well. So this just loosened it up. That's weird. There you go. This outlet does not tell me which one is the load. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out by turning on the breaker. So for this tool, we just gotta turn this on. Okay. So this is definitely the line. So that's where the line, this is the load. This load goes into this right here. Now we can put in our new GFCI, the old installer, install a 15 amp and it's a 20 amp circuit. This is why it's shorting out. So you gotta check your outlet. That way you have the right GFCI. This is a 20, does not have enough power. So the yellow is always low. The yellow sticker is always low. The one without the stickers line, that's where the, the power line comes in. There we go. I'm just gonna tighten that. White over here. Tighten that. All right. All right. And then we'll go with the hot again, just to make sure it's a little too long. Cut it. Now we're going to put the load, change this, perfect, all 
right, let's go ahead and test the circuit. Be this way. All right, this has a tile. Standard one doesn't fit. Gotta use a little bit longer screws. Just make sure it just secures it from falling out so that the screw don't go anywhere. Don't lose it. test little test button right here and then we're gonna hit reset all right green means on that means working and let's see if it has power yes it's power and then we'll see if if we wired it correctly so here this will tell you if the grounds open open neutral open hot all the above and the correct is uh, two yellows right here both of these two orange light up that mean the wiring is correct let's go ahead and test it out hey it is correct well, we're good to go in that department we're good to go here so when i put the plates on this hole was shifted to the right a little bit and this is a little small so the owner will cock this little area to fix that but that should solve the problem of the electrical tripping. Now they have a GFCI, so if it trips, you can always hit reset. You don't have to go to your breaker. All right, guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe and like. See you next time.